Hi sweeties! Today we are making southern fried whiting in the air fryer. We are not going to heat up a great big old cast iron pot full of oil, not today. We are going to get crispy southern fried whiting from our air fryer. Let me show you how I did it, but first please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Mm, looks so flaky. Hit that notification bell, that thumbs up. Now let's get into it. We've got our whiting fillets ready to go. They are skin on, boneless. You always got to check for bones, but mostly boneless. Whiting fillets. Whiting is inexpensive and flaky and delicate. We are going to start with seasoning them with a little hot sauce. This step is optional, but I love to put some hot sauce on the fish before we cook it. Gives it a nice spice and it helps for our coating to stick a little better. So we're going to put the hot sauce on there and just gently rub it. The whiting is very delicate, so be careful. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of lemon pepper seasoning on there. Y'all, it's gonna be so good. I promise you, you're gonna love it. Nice even coating of the lemon pepper. We're gonna shake our fish in some store-bought fish fry. We're using Zatarin's. It's already seasoned, but I always like to season my fish as well. Pour that into a Ziploc bag and toss our fish inside, and then gently shake it up to get it coated evenly, and then shake off the excess fish fry. I'll show you how to make your own fish fry blend later on in the video. Now, preheat your air fryer. I'm using the Ninja Foodie Grill. We want to get it nice and hot. We've got the air fryer basket inside. We want it to be hot so our fish can get off to a nice good start. And then we'll set the timer for about seven, eight minutes. A fish really doesn't take very long to cook, especially these thin fillets of whiting. While our air fryer is preheating, we're gonna finish prepping our fish. Now we're just gonna spray both sides thoroughly with some oil spray. I'm using grapeseed oil, which is a nice neutral flavored oil. You can hardly taste the thing, and it's good for high temperatures. So spray both sides with a good coating of oil because it can taste a little dusty if you don't oil it well. Now that our air fryer is nice and hot, the Ninja Foodie is telling us to add food, so that's what we're gonna do, we will drop those fish fillets, the whiting in, in one layer so that the air can circulate around and it can get crispy on all sides. The great thing about the Ninja Foodie Grill is that you don't have to worry about flipping the fish. You know, it's so delicate, you don't wanna have to be flipping it and turning it. I do recommend keeping that oil sprayer handy because the fish can start looking kind of dry and get like a dusty taste to it. So you wanna just give it a nice spritz of that oil during cooking. And look how golden brown and delicious that fish looks. I mean, easy, super easy, tasty, nice and crispy. Southern fried whiting from the air fryer. Pile you up some on a plate. Mm, that's dinner right there. How many pieces do you want? You want grits with that? Yes, child. It's so good. I'm really happy with the way the whiting came out in the air fryer. We can make you a nice fish sandwich, fish tacos. These are great in fish tacos. Put a little coleslaw on there, some jalapenos. So good. Perfect, crispy fish tacos with this air fried whiting. You want to be sure not to overcook your whiting because you still want it to be moist on the inside. But I told you, watch out for the little bones, right? You really do still have to be careful because it's hard to see when you're preparing the fillets, but sometimes you have the occasional bone in there, but it's, it's delicious though. Mm. Here are a few tips for you. I'm using frozen whiting. It's very delicate, so let it thaw gently in the refrigerator overnight. If you try to thaw it under running water, it can break apart. To make your own fish breading, I like to use masa harina. It's the same thing you'd use to make corn tortillas. It's gluten-free, we'll always check the packaging. It's got a nice fine texture and a great corny flavor. So take about two cups of the masa harina and add two tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning. That usually has salt in it, but you can add salt if you need more. 
Make sure your air fryer is nice and hot before you put your fish in and that way you don't have to bother flipping it and turning it. That gives you more of a chance to break up those fish fillets. So get that air fryer hot preheated before each use. Keep that oil sprayer handy so you can spritz about halfway during cooking. I use grapeseed oil this time, but you can use canola oil, avocado oil as well. Anything that works great at a high temperature. And you'll get some nice moist fish. Watch out for those bones. But I'm super happy with this. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that notification bell, that thumbs up, and have a delicious day. And click right over here for more delicious recipe videos.